Good morning, uh, YouTube. It's about uh, 5.30 in the morning, Saturday, and we're off of uh, the 57 uh, South, right before the 71, and we have this uh, Amazon uh, tractor trailer that I guess uh, a car hit him and ended up losing control. It's uh, in need of our, our services. The tractor trailer is, uh, is loading. Let's see it right there. This is uh, where the most of the damage is at. Uh, there's no way is it pulling from that. Whatever, I tear it off. Oh yeah. Easy. What's up? I don't think I gave you enough to work with, but obviously I, I can bring the back end, the trailer back end all over here. Oh but yeah. I really want to be, that's why he was in your lane. Yeah. I really want to be further out. You get it? And then it's got 15,000. Yeah, it's nothing. It's about to be empty. But it's going to be nothing here there. Yeah. Because the suspension's collapsed on this thing. But well, we're going to put it on this edge now anyways? We got, yeah, we want to put at least the landing here, yeah. And then I can relocate. And move the trailer after, brother. Well, I'm gonna go get 23 for the trailer. We caught already, we moved the drive line and sh shut it. Okay. I just wanna make sure wherever you park, he doesn't, because he's pretty far out. He's gonna be out of your way. I don't want him to plow the, the tractor into your truck. I could actually grab uh, with my uh, frame grab hooks. I could grab it from here. I'll be a lot closer and I'll be able to control this whole thing while he winches. Yeah, well, they're gonna flip. They're gonna no, flip. it's not gonna do anything. All right, let's do that. I'll do that. I'll put my frame graphics right. here. But I can move up further. I'll move up more this way. That way he can have enough room to clear. Where are you gonna Maybe put it at? Turn to the right. Maybe just turn to the right. Turn to the right? Yeah, so that in case the tractor goes on me, because he's gonna have to control it. I would just put it on the right about 10 feet. Leave your boom right about here. So it gives you time to drop it. I pretty much have to get rid of my snatch box up top. Well, maybe I won't.
the three part lines. I saw that. <laughs> It's gonna make like a, like it's heavy, huh? Like oh, Flipper had to had to put his lights. In line, yeah, the trailer. Oh, no. get calls in springs and baldwin park i'm surprised we got it up here oh we always get them here we yeah that's where they pulled the pole on the side ah yeah, right there safe spot ready Got it? Yeah. Free spool it and then drive about 10 feet forward. So the maneuver here that we're doing is um, I'm gonna control the, fr uh, the front part of the, the trailer, well, and the tractor on the where the tandems are at and sky it because uh, the legs are pretty much sunken in. So to avoid having to destroy them, I'm gonna pick up while, uh, while Joe with Hulk winches it over. At that moment, uh, he will go and pick up the, the tractor so we can take the trailer away. And I will pretty much lift it and place it on the, on the concrete here. That's even right there. There you go. Just this one. Just go this one. You're doing good. Sure, those airlines don't catch. Hold it. All right. Tell him to hold it. Hold it. Yeah, you gotta reposition the room. Yeah, I know. I gotta go. Yeah, go out and. Yeah, get way ahead of it, bro. You don't want to low. You don't want to lower your room and blow out. Yeah, those things work out great. Don't forget too much on this. As soon as it's here. Go ahead! There you go, bro. There you go, there you go. Follow me. Beautiful. Watch the lines! Watch the holes! The holes! Just pull it! Pull from this side! The side? Yeah, this side, so it pulls it that way. Yeah. 
Yeah, just I'll get the rest. You'll get it? Yeah, I'll just bring it over. Nice. You're good right there. Disconnect this chain and put it on my right side. I thought, I thought you were gonna go. Oh, you're gonna use the chain? Oh, you're gonna use the chain? No, I'll leave it no? here. Yeah? Oh, you mean, oh, you're talking about the chain over there? I got my own. Yeah, I got my own. I like these chains. Got my frame hook grab hooks, grabs from the bottom and wraps around around this apron here. In the final uh, phase of this, like I said, he's gonna go. Uh, Joe's gonna go get the tractor. I'll pretty much uh, position myself further back, lift it, and then finish it off. You want me to lift it up? 
no, no puedo meterme. Está todo quebrado. El, ok. El ángel está todo quebrado. Ya puedo quitar yo las mías, ¿sabes? Las sí. Mías, ya no hace falta. Sí, ya. Claro. Dude, how is it that he always has horrible timing? Hello? 10 for bye. Out of the hole.
I need that one? No, that one. Yeah, I would. That's fine, we'll, we'll lift it from here then. Ready? Yeah, that's fine. Just grab it and we'll pull it forward. So that way Joe just comes in and hooks up. I don't feel fit through there. Got it? You're good? You're good? Okay.
right? Yeah, that's fine. Let's put it on the on the uh, on this then. Tá pegando um bolto atrás. Ele que saque esto un poquito más. Sí, por favor, va. Se ya lo saqué. Pero si no saqué este poquito. It's uh, it should be on the side of the truck. Oh, you got it's it? Like, it's like, it's oh. Right there, huh? <laughs> oh, the boom guy. Just to move it, then I'll, I'll if you want, I can move again. No, 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 no just, just to move it forward. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're not going to tow it like that. All right, let me disconnect my chains. Yeah, I know. That's why I put the outrigger in. <laughs> I thought ahead of time. Oh, get it. Oh, me, stupid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna back up, I'm gonna go that way. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Talk to Henry. Tell him to turn off the all lamp. I will. Oh. <laughs> Bye, big. guys well all the debris is out of the roadway now so um chp will uh, open it up momentarily ricardo's finishing up uh, hooking up the tractor pretty much he's pretty much done just attaching chains to the axle so it doesn't shift as he's going forward to the to the yard you could leave it like that and all you have to do is just make sure that the chain doesn't move, I mean, that the, that the axle doesn't shift forward. Okay. So what I would do is I would attach a chain from going forward and back. But this has to pivot, no? What? Este, el T-bar. The T-bar has to pivot, so you, you can't you can't ah, leave that yeah, to the. Yeah, 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 sí, cierto, cierto, You can't do that. Ver. Yeah, it has to pivot. Oh, cierto, cierto, cierto. So what I would do is that the axle's all the way back, right? Ah? The axle's all the way back. Um, casi. Sí, pero um, what I'm meaning is in a fixed point towards the back, right? Uh -huh. So what I would do is that I would secure the axle to the back portion of the of the frame, so that way when you're moving forward, it doesn't shift forward. But I gotta use gotta use this one, though, huh? That's not enough. No, that's the that's the. Um, so I have to go all the way back. You don't have to go all the way back as long as long as you're as long as it's not shifting forward. You can attach to the top of the frame. This one. Yeah. Why don't you just do the same thing? But instead of going to the T bar, just go to this axle step. Okay. Go ahead. No, I think you'll be fine, Ricardo. Well, Ricardo's all hooked up now. Are you guys good with that already? Yeah, we're Pretty good, sir. Okay. So everything on my computer, so yeah. Okay, good, man. awesome. Thank, Thank you, man. man. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Oh, well, you can see where this uh, this uh, tractor and trailer combo were here, so everything's pretty much all said and done. Josh Mance is going to open up the, the lane again and call it a day. 
just walk over to uh, to Flipper and on to the next call. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out. Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Josh's Breakdown. Thank you for staying to the end. I want to touch up really quick on something I pointed out in the beginning first is the landing gear. I tried to highlight it with a little bit of video editing, but in case it wasn't obvious. Uh, the issue is on these freeway interchanges, when the freeway exits this way, they call it the, um, you know, the ice pit, the gravel pit, they call it the embankment. Full of dirt, full of gravel, uh, wood chips, however they want to fill it. And when this guy went off, you could see his tracks, he buried himself in there and buried the landing gear. Now, normally, let's say it was just a tractor with no trailer, um, or even if the trailer was empty maybe, and you pull it from the front, that's the way you would usually pull it out, you know, tractor only, and it follows you. But you have the added difficulty of the landing gear. It doesn't look too complicated, especially with all the big iron, we make it look super easy. Overkill almost, people would say. But with the landing gear sunken into that soft dirt, the gravel, the wood chips, all that, if you just pull from the front, even though the trailer only had 15,000 pounds, that 15,000 pounds isn't spread from the front to the back. It's all in the front. You call it like a half load or quarter load or whatever, but all that's in the front on top of the landing gear. So if you just pull from the front, keep in mind the embankment goes like this and then it goes up. So if you just pull from the front, you're going to be digging that landing gear into that ground even further and it gets exponentially harder to keep pulling because now you need more force as the resistance gets higher and that you know can start getting into a lot of problems on its own whether it's overloading your lines in the beginning uh putting undue stress on the pull pins where you're pulling from on the bumper putting a lot of stress on that landing gear and if you break that landing gear i mean that's like one of the most important parts of a trailer or container and well, now you own it so to avoid that my dad and alex had the plan to use big flipper unit 88 to lift up the front of the trailer to alleviate that. Once you have that front in the air, well now the landing gear is just above the ground. That allows Ricardo in the front to pull the tractor and straighten everything out. And at the same time, my dad is using Hulk. Uh, keep in mind, I was still on paternity leave at this time. This is an older video. But my dad was using Hulk to swing the trailer and bring it as much to the road as possible. Now, that's always the goal on these winch outs, these rollovers. You want, if you notice, we keep everything nice and straight. You want everything to be straight, parallel. We use those words a lot, perpendicular and parallel. You want it as straight as possible. And that's what the goal here was. So once they brought everything up to the top, my dad went to our local city of industry slash La Puente yard to pick up a tractor. Now that yard's super local. You'll see it a lot in um, some of my rollover videos at 60 at Azusa off ramp where they always flip over. That's like two exits away from us. This one's also very close. So if need be in a situation like this where two rotators is, you know, just for one quick party, but you need a tractor well, you can smash out there, get there in less than 10 minutes, grab the tractor and then come back. And I think my dad was actually faster than that because by the time Alex had finished straightening out the rear of the trailer, my dad was already pulling up. And another reason you do that in this situation, instead of towing everything together, is first they were going to two separate destinations we kept the tractor for um insurance purposes i think the company had wanted it stored there and they usually just send in an adjuster and then tell us what to do but because the trailer had to load it had to go somewhere else so this saves a ton of time you do it all right there all in one shot get the freeway clear and everyone's happy afterwards another reason that happened even if the trailer didn't have to go to a separate location is that front axle was completely loose it was damaged you'll see towards the end ricardo and alex struggling just a tiny bit on how to decide where to put the chains you wouldn't do it normally because since the axle's loose you have a risk of when you step on the brakes or accelerate while in tow that axle can travel horizontal so the chains normally you would do a, a vertical tie down with the chain binder to prevent it from coming off the forks right well when the axle is loose or broken you also need a horizontal lock and that keeps it in place from going up and down forward and back. And because of that extra damage, that's another good reason why you would split everything and, and tow it separate. Now, other than those key points, there's not much else I, I really think I need to discuss in this video. It's pretty self-explanatory, but if I forgot anything you guys want to bring up, drop it in the comments and I'll try my best to get to it. So on that note, hope everyone enjoyed. Thank you for sticking to the end and peace out.